Where do you think Jeter will, you know, his, his place in the Yankee, you know, legacy of of all time greats is? Uh, in my words, for me, he's, uh, you know, for me, he's number one. Uh, you know, because I got to play with him, and I got to see how much the game of baseball meant to him. Uh, not only the winning part of it, that's, you know, his priority, uh, but what, you know, what he stood and and what he, um, you know, the fans, everybody watching, you know, he really made sure that uh, he was he was there, he was playing, he was on the lineup, um, never make an excuse. That's one of his biggest pe pet peeves. Uh, and did a lot of things well. Uh, Joe Torre was talking about trustworthy, but you tell Derek, you know, one thing, uh, if he made a mistake or he did something wrong, you would tell him one time, and that you don't have to tell him again. And that tells you his mind, you know, how strong he was. And, you know, for me, it's just, you know, number one. No. Well, I mean, uh, uh, never saw uh, Babe Ruth playing or Joe DiMaggio or, or Lou Gary, Mickey Mantle, but uh, I saw Derek playing for uh, 19 years in the big leagues and some years in the minor leagues. And all I saw was determination and desire to be the best. So definitely for me, like George says, he is number one. Because, I mean, uh, I saw the men that uh, always want to bring the best and give the best for the team. You know, he might not say too much or might not speak too much, but he said it all in the field. And that's when you want your captain or your shortstop or your main guy to, to be in shine, you know. And especially in, in tough situations, you know, you want – him to be our uh, bad or the ball hit to him when uh, was the last out or the last out bad of the game. You have the mic, Tara. Okay, can you grab it? Thank you. Um, you guys have both already crossed this transition, so I'm curious what you're feeling for Derek. I mean, are you sad for what he's heading into? Are you, I mean, you know what it's like to not have baseball every day, and that's what he's going into. So wh what are you feeling for him today, and what, what's ahead for him? Today's not easy. You know, today's not easy. Uh, it's not easy to get in front of 60,000 people and, and tell, especially after, you know, you still have games, you know, going on, meaningful games going on. So I, uh, it's going to be tough for him, uh, you know, to set everything aside and really, you know, take that, uh, you know, and talk a little bit of, you know, what what he feels, you know, and, and that's that's the biggest thing. You know, the fans want to hear um, how, how tough it is. They want to see that, you know, that connection. So I, I think it's going to be tough for him. Um, I don't want to be in his shoes, but he – I was telling my dad, and dad is here, and I was telling my dad in 2008, you know, when he talked to the fans, you know, talking about he didn't have anything written. He didn't have anything. He, you know, he thought about things he was gonna, he was, wanted to say, and then he just kept going. Uh, he's very good in front of in front of you guys, and he's very good, you know, with a microphone. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what's uh, – but it's, it's going to be hard because, you know, the, the team is still going on on, on, on a tough stretch. Well, Tara, uh, for me, uh, well, I mean, uh, I don't think it's going to be that hard for me. The reason why I say that for him because um, he is still playing. You know, he has more games, meaningful games to go. Uh, the last day will be the toughest, you know, and uh, that definitely he will find out, you know. But uh, at the same time, uh, I can tell him that retiring is also. 
tournament is, is, is wonderful. I feel great, and I think he will be fine too. So, I mean, I would definitely tell him that. Hey, guys, what is it like to see the last of the core four retiring, and will we ever see anything like this again in your mind? Uh, it's tough to see him go because, um, you know, he has kept me uh, on the TV. I will always watch the Yankees play, but he has kept me a little bit uh, closer to see, you know, how, how he's doing, you know, get any hits, did, he, uh, did the team win. Um, and it, it's tough because, you know, you, you know, you go back with him so, you know, for so long that, you know, you want him to, you know, finish strong. And I told him, you know, September is a good year. Uh, it's always been a good uh, month for you. So go out there and, you know, do what you do and, and you know, help the team get to where they need to be. Um, and he's going to try everything. And I think the team's going to try everything. And, and it's tough, you know, I... You know, I feel for him because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he wants to go to the playoffs. Uh, he wants the team to, you know, to get there. And, um, you know, tough losses like they had uh, on Friday, th those, you know, those hurt a lot. And they, they stay with you a little, little bit longer. So I just think, uh, you know, like, like Mo said, towards the end, it's going to be tougher for him. You know, uh, that last homestand here, it's going to be tough, you know, saying goodbye and, and probably those three, uh, those three games in Boston, you know, knowing that's that's it, uh, it's gonna be tough, you know. And, and it would be easier if they get to the playoffs because obviously he's got something to look for. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, like you said, the last one to stand, you know. Uh, he has been amazing for all those years, you know. And uh, he chose to be to leave the game this year, you know. I mean, uh, and. Personally, uh, uh, a guy like that, I don't want to see a man like that struggle, you know, because he has made, he has been so good on the field that I don't want to people to push him out of the field, you know. So I think that he choose right. I think that he is it's time to to uh, to do other things, you know. What I mean, but definitely uh, for him, he will give you everything that he have to the last chance that he will have. You know, and um, after that, well, I don't know what was what's, what's going to happen with him. Well, he says, and one thing that I always always uh, de define, Derek, that uh, he says that he wants to own a team one day. And I trust him, and I believe that, and he will. He will one day. He will own a, a, a baseball team. You know, I mean, me and Jorge and Andy will be part of that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, definitely, you know, because he's a guy that I always. Uh, 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 worked for everything that he believed in. Uh, you know, that's why he is different.